Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here, starting off the morning with something called a blueberry thrill. Obviously it has blueberries, but also almond milk and almond butter. First time trying this. And I have to admit, it's pretty, it's pretty dang tasty. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's the Daily Woo. I do enjoy some artwork and this neck of the woods, there is plenty of it around every corner and on every electrical box. I will be departing, however, from this region at the start of next week. And I have a heck of a lot of errands to do. Some I will vlog, some I will not put on film. I decided to just take you with me. It's nice having the two banking establishments that I use so close. Chase is my credit card company and Bank of America is the banking operation I've been using for probably 20 years. These walk-up ATMs are very helpful when you need to get cash out, like I just did. But you'll never know which one of the units I chose. I currently do not own a printer, so when I need businessy type material paperwork printed out, I usually have to go to an Office Max, an Office Copy Center, or this FedEx place. This is in regards to the type of things that I don't normally mention in these vlogs. There, there is a side, there are things that should never be detailed in great explanation in the vlogs, and that's, that's what I'm doing in here. Mission accomplished. I had to take the contents of this little SD card and print off what is on this sign it and send it off into cyberspace and while it was a little time consuming not not too terribly bad but i made it worthwhile by picking up these beautiful emoji magnets eight cool magnets those will look good on my fridge right and here's yet another electrical box with some sweet artwork on it sometimes they go all around the sides oh yeah see completely around all four sides nice this pawn shop asked please and kindly take off the mask and unload the gun before entering just just have a heart what i am up to today can definitely be categorized in the humdrum rigmarole if you will of getting things prepared for a very lengthy two and a half maybe three week road trip that i will be embarking on in a couple days, tomorrow I have something exciting. The next day, kind of more of a chill, relaxed day. And then the following morning, bright and early, going to LAX, flying to Indiana, spending time there on my birthday, August 10th, 1974. I was born, I'll be 43 years old. The following day after that, I will be sitting in the captain's chair of Large Marge, my RV, and heading across the country. I have no earthly clue where I will be going. I do not know the route I will be taking. If you would like, to share your opinion on where I should go, keep this in mind. No major cities, no meccas of huge embankments of people. I want to stay off the grid. I want to hit all the nooks and crannies, teeny tiny towns. I kind of sort of want to stay off Route 66. I want to go into areas that really have not been tackled in vlog format. Okay, on with today. Let's see what I can find at Goodwill. I always love some thrift shopping. I kind of feel like this is moderately true. Whenever I see one of these pianos that you dance on, I think of the movie Big. Oh, wait a second. It actually says Big on it. I didn't find a whole lot, but I did find something. Check out this Pula Girl. Aloha in a really nice frame. Pula Honeys from 2003 by Kern Erickson. I like that. That'll look good on the wall in the homestead. I've officially decided if I need something cleaned, I'm gonna go there. How can I deny this place? I mean, those are, they got, uh, are those petunias? What I like, what I really, really like about this backpack is I can strap it on my shoulder and just carry things around with the greatest of ease. This Los Angeles slash Hollywood endeavor, this month and a half, almost two months since I have moved here has been step Number one of a continual game plan to travel, to put out good content, 
the content that I will be doing when I return on September 1st, three-ish, three and a half weeks from now after I do this lengthy road trip, will pretty much be nothing like the content I have done here this last month or so. It's gonna be a little bit different because I will be established. I have furniture. I have the things I need back at the homestead. And the things I don't have there, I have at my sister's that I will be bringing across the country and I will be hitting thrift stores like the one I just did, but in the, in the little nether regions of the US and I will be piling that all in large marge and putting it in my new place here. And then when I am back, I have some good plans. Movie locations, going out in the desert, trekking off for three or four days in the RV, flying places. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. This has only been step one, only step one. In the future, way off in the future, all the steps will be revealed or understood. You'll have a better grasp of what I was going for when it's all said and done. But for now, step one is just about complete. And to celebrate, I'm gonna go buy a Blu-ray over at Amoeba Music. This place is gargantuan. You can't bring a backpack in. They give you a number, you gotta pick it up when you leave. But this place is huge. I really do love that place. In my opinion, one of the best, if not the biggest, independent record stores I've ever been in. They have everything your heart could desire inside those walls. I picked up La La Land. Funny story, I've seen bits and pieces of this, but never in its full entirety. But the sections of the film I have already seen, I have to admit, I really enjoyed. And there's another twist, another interesting scenario to the story as well. About three or four months ago, I was spending some quality family time with my mom, my dad, my sister. I was doing some stuff around her house and in the background, they were all watching that movie. And I had been considering heavily on where I should decide to set up camp, if you will. And I was really leaning towards New York City. In fact, I had emailed some realtors and was looking at some photos and in conversation with some people out there. And I decided against it. Mostly, it pushed me over the edge. It reminded me how much I like this area and how much I really have not done here and needed to be here because of that of that movie that did, that wasn't the only reason but that was that was the thing that kind of sort of kind of sort of pushed me over the edge and leaned me towards this neck of the woods now i must reiterate it is not the definite defining reason on why i ended up here but seeing those images presented in that fashion on the screen of things that i really like about this area kind of pushed me over the edge a little bit and reminded me it just reminded me. That's the best way to describe it. Nice. And now tonight, in its entirety, from start to finish, I can see the three quarters of the movie that I've never even seen yet in the same neighborhood, in the comfort of my own home, as it was filmed, right on these very streets. How freaking cool is that? It really is a good thing that someone threw that banana, or attempted to, in the trash because if if they would have laid it down there on the ground near the stars all the tourists that are walking by they would have slipped and fallen right on tennessee ernie ford that would not be good so it's a good thing that at least they attempted to throw it away you know they're a cartoon the banana always makes you slip what if that's really true and my dinner for the evening will consist of some curried cauliflower salad trader joe's tuna salad wraps and i really love these things chickpeas with a little a little something extra added to them i'm proud of you buddy i don't see one single beer can shot glass or alcoholic beverage you're looking good too at first, I wasn't really too sure about the new coat. You know, the AstroTurf S type non-foliage that you used to have all over your toy. What is this? Is that some sort of like ketchup packet? Are you doing shots of ketchup? You know, a lot of people like you. Some even say you should start your own vlog. And they really like the way whenever I end each video with you, the way I say it. It's all your fault. You know what I'm talking about. 
Even though you don't speak, cats always got your tongue. You always think it's amusing and you show me a, a non-smile. Not, you're not smiling on the outside, you're smiling on the inside whenever I say, hog over.